Well, today we got a really special treat. We're going to be taking a tour of a race team that races semi trucks. So, two of the things that I absolutely love racing and semis, they're going to be together. And uh, we're going to get to tour the trucks and the shop of this race team. So, come along. Here we go. The trucking industry, the heavy duty industry is huge, but yeah. no one understands it. They right. don't get it, you know? Yep. yep. And the trucking industry has been struggling with how do we promote what we need, these, these spots that we need to fill. You know, yep. we need, like you said, we need drivers, we need mechanics, we need all these things. And we want to sell parts, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. So you guys are fitting all those different. Well, yeah, because it, it goes down to, and this is my big belief, what happened to the trucking industry is when you get these big carriers that came in and paid their drivers next to nothing. Well, the mm -hmm. good drivers went, screw you. So they just hired a bunch of nobody that don't care mm -hmm. for that rate. And they just, it diluted it so bad. Sure. Now, the guy love this. All these people that I all hate pipeline, hate truckers. Well, now they're running out of gas and not who they're depending <laughs> on, right? Yeah. So... Yeah. The guys that do like small fleets, this is what they, you know, I mean, this is yeah. why they like it, right? They Absolutely. they got something to relate to. Yep. Um, there's nothing to relate to in the heavy duty industry. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Back in the day, yeah, you had like smoking the bandit, made it look cool, you know, sure. stuff like that. But they don't have nothing nowadays. Yeah, you got the pride and polish guys, but then they're in a whole different ball mm -hmm. game of themselves. It's right. There's no in between of the owner operators, the guys that work for a living type yeah. of thing so yep the guy that does it himself and he's getting dirty mm -hmm. on the weekend trying to make do the best he can make yep. ends meet and keep it looking good and yeah feed his family with with his truck mm -hmm. so. so that's kind of why we became passionate to the this just because it is the heavy duty industry absolutely so yeah that's super cool i love it i, I keep wanting to walk around the trucks so yep. too, man. This go is, ahead so they run Brakes on all four wheels, yeah. air brakes. Yep. And so uh, these trucks have front disc brakes. Um, okay. <laughs> so I I own a garbage company slash trucking company. Yeah. And the, the funny thing is, a couple of trucks I bought had disc uh, drums in the front. Yeah. And after having them on my race truck, one, I'm not. Gonna, all my trucks are just going to come discs coming right out. The front. Just when I order a new truck, it's going to have discs. Yeah. Thought it right away it would be a bad idea, but after having on these, it's like, God, the stopping distances and all that stuff is uh, so much nicer. The brake life is just so much nicer. That's cool. And so, so even though it didn't come originally on Kenworth in 1980, the rules would allow well, it because it's it, available in the market. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. And you, anywhere it. you can, if you can go buy it at a Fleet Pride or anywhere else, you can put it on your truck. That's awesome. Don't ask Napa because they don't have for heavy duty parts. <laughs> <laughs> but they yep. might get it to you by 1 o'clock, though. <laughs> right, right. Yep. Uh, so you can have plexiglass windshield, or you can yep. still keep your so original glass. If you this want. one actually had glass in it. What happened was uh, the seal dried out, or something happened with the seal at a race, and the glass actually fell. So oh, yeah. it came out of yeah. the thing. Well, <laughs> of course, my brother, right, didn't want to stop racing, so he put his hand up, just holding it there, so raced it around, and he got back and he was hollering at everybody, like, what happened? He goes, I'm holding the glass up. <laughs> took it off one you do realize that could have really messed oh, you up man, you know yeah. you know so wow. you know this one hasn't had that happen yet but when it does we'll switch it all over to latex it's just easier sure you know glass is glass you know but even if it's safety glass or like with the plastic yeah. laminate or whatever because it's this still yeah it's, it's this is actually a fact on windshield sure so no. we just if it's not broken we'll fix concept here yep. so yep. that's kind of the idea totally you can hop up there if you want. Okay. There's that you step want to right there. Phil? <laughs> yeah, I might as well jump in. Can you hold that? A little bit different than you're a girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a cage this nice. Mine was home. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. All right, so there is a fire suppression system also. Yep. I see that. Okay. Slick. A 13 speed, you said? Yep. All right. Cool, here's oil pressure, and oil temp, yeah. Here we go. Oil pressure, oil temp, water temp. 
So Let's see. Yep. they're, they're basically fuses. accessories. So yep. we actually uh, run water systems in the trucks to help cool the brakes so you don't have as bad brake fade. Yeah. But okay. with the discs, you kind of eliminate that. Mm -hmm. But you still have to have it for a safety aspect just in case you do have brake fade, you have a water system to help cooling it. So Right. Yeah. All right. That's your boost gauge right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get your mirror so you can watch traffic going on. You got another one I kind saw of, kind on of the the door. Yep. door. Yep. Just for safe passing. Yep. Well, unless awesome. you trust your spotter well enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, otherwise, yeah, you can you can tell a lot of this is really easily recognizable. Now, is there a reason that you have the window blocked on the on the passenger side? Nope. So those are uh, plastic sheets that we put on for transporting to the race oh, and from the race. So okay. crap doesn't come in here. You gotcha. know, it kind of stays somewhat dry. So that would normally be open on, on race day. Okay. But the only thing you have is a race net on the driver's side. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Clutch is orange. Yep. Yep. That's so cool. All right. There's the fire. That's the safety stuff down there, and that's yep. the battery box? No, that's a cool suit, so you oh, yeah. help keep cool. Keep the driver cool. Because yep. there's no real air movement in these bad boys. Right. Yep. Makes sense. It's only going to get hotter from here on out <laughs> in the year. <laughs> possibly can in case yeah. uh, you know, how do I wood this I, I tell my <laughs> old man all the time going if that truck bursts in the flames you're f <laughs> <laughs> he, he, the problem is the Ford cab is a Ford cab it's oh, an old yeah. small one sure um yep. but you never know when something up. starts Thank on you. fire you you move pretty quickly I uh, don't yeah, care who you absolutely. are absolutely so you know all roll cages actually are mounted to the frame there's another bracket that comes underneath that bolts it right through it so sure. it's actually attached to the frame yep so yep. that makes sense it uh, um it's yeah. it the problem is this is different than a car because there's no give points on this so when you hit something hard it goes it's through you it doesn't yeah. like okay i can this will collapse no this it's so yeah yeah so and the funny thing is, is every one of these have hit the walls before we we built them and you know i mean there's nothing they're really easy to basic do it we go down to thompson pick up parts and away we go that's you know awesome and i'm thinking this cable here is just for safety to make sure that the axle doesn't go well that and so when you hit the wall the axle will shear off the center pin this will prevent it from going all the way back oh. and really doing more damage right so okay. kind of help keep it somewhat in place sure so yes sense. is it safety a little bit is it kind of covering our ass it hits the wall that's more or less what it is too. you know yeah yep um there is there a uh, rule on uh, like minimum weight like yeah, if there was things so you were trying to do to try and shave weight there is a 11 11 5 is a minimum weight 13 thousand the heaviest Okay. There's, we got a Mac. He's pretty heavy, just because Macs are overall heavy. Sure. But we're not. Sure. How do I say? We're not really Nazis in exact poundage wise. But okay. you got to be in that window. Okay. Um. So you, are you scaling them at every single race? Yeah. They will get scaled at the race, okay. and it's sixty forty. You got to have sixty percent of your weight in the front, forty in the back. Oh. Okay. So right. there is a ratio, mm -hmm. but it's front to back and overall. Right. It's not like oh, you got to only have this much weight on this corner, this much weight in the thing. It's just yep. front to back, but. You know well as I do. The the funny thing is all these racers they cut out like wanna take these bolts out. It's like these engines are designed for eighty thousand plus. <laughs> yeah. Your little one ounce bolts ain't gonna make a it's bit not, of difference. Not matter. You know, it's it's where you make it is when you shift the weight from front to back. Yeah. That's all it's doing. But when you take sure. out ounces, it's not good. You have to take out pounds. Sure. Sure. So that's why I always find it funny when racers are like, I don't know this.
Absolute awesome job of keeping the fans face to face with the drivers and uh, getting involved, getting the kids out here on the track. It's so cool. Where are you from? Belmont? Oh, that's awesome, man. I got family out there at Belmont. Hey, see, see, yeah, see, how did y'all keep going in here tonight, okay? From Belmont, Iowa, we're down in Iowa.
great time coming out to the, the Bandit Series Big Rigs race. I want to say a huge thank you to Trevor and the guys at the shop. Thank you for giving us the tour. Thank you so much for coming along. We had a great time at the race tonight. So thanks again so much. Peace and grease, everybody.